Uh, I get. I guess if I were to You're say coward, something to little that? me, wait, wait, what? If I were to say something to little me, I would have said something like, I don't know, show the ladies what the fingers can do. <laughs> nice. When you're young, the girls would be like, yeah, what? Right. what? What? <laughs> All right. Oh <laughs> you know what? Get your heads out of the gutter, mother. This video is brought to you by Wicked Good Cupcakes. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, let's get on to today's video. Welcome to Room 6, the channel is dedicated to local and not so local music and the people that make it, including my guests. And my guests today are a band that didn't get the memo and they're trying to bring grunge back. <laughs> now they're a grunge band out of Vegas um, with uh, some new members and an old sound, and we're going to find out a little bit more about them. Uh, well, please welcome to the channel, The Crimsons. Hi, guys. How's it going, everyone? What is up? Cheers. Say hi. Mm. Oh, well, welcome to the channel. Let's do it proper. Thank you. Thank you. Just want to mention, I got the coolest one. All right. <laughs> yes. Not every day, like, the drummer gets a lot of, uh, you know, the coolest shit, but I've got, I got it today. I've got Mark 1. I've got the OG one. Yeah. Me, a bass player. You can tell this is here. the port, the wrong design. That's just the room. <laughs> you can't see the six, you see the room. <laughs> Six on the other side. Right. So, uh, speaking of which, if you're interested in some Room 6 merch, I got things like this, make music, not excuses. I got just Room 6 stuff and, and other sayings, all at room6.shop. It all helps me make better videos and help out the local scene. So, thanks. That was intentional, Josh. I brought that in there for oh, you. Oh, I, I know. I want you're, to play. You're not slick. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> for those of you who don't know who the Crimsons are, thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and introduce who you, you know, who you are and what you do in the band. All right. Well. I'm Krister Springetti. Um, I play guitar and I sing and I write most of the songs. And uh, yeah, I've had this band since 2019 and these are my newest members. My name is Bubba Bass. I am the bass player of the band who can freaking shred your asses off apparently better than this guy for some reason. I don't know why. But I just joined this band not too long ago. Barely four months now? That we... Four that months. Did? Yeah, just about four months. Just about. Mm. And uh, yeah, and I also help write. Not the main songwriter, but, you know, got to do what I got to do, right? I'm Brandon. I'm the drummer. And uh, that's all I got to say about that. You <laughs> see, you go hard, that's it. Yeah. Damn, that's it. You should have said, I'm Brandon Beats. <laughs> Brandon Beats. <laughs> that's right, yeah. Bubble yeah. face. Bubble face. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon Beats. Brandon Beats. Yeah, you should have said, I'm Brandon Giggity Goop. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Giggity. Giggity Giggity Goop. <laughs> Interview's going great. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, thank you for coming on the channel. Um, if you want to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address or the Room 6 social media link down in the description. That's also where you'll find all sorts of ways to support the channel and how to find me. Um, if, you have a, if you're a local musician uh, in, in the Nevada area and you are doing a live original music show and you want to be mentioned on my weekly podcast, Room 6 Radio, hit me up as well. I need to know by Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time than the Saturday before the week I'm going to talk about. Every Monday... I do it at 8 p.m. So, yeah. Let me know. Uh, moving on. Do it, guys. Giggity. I followed you today. <laughs> I noticed. You didn't know what are you waiting for, stupid? Mango, Hit the Mango description box. Yeah. Yes. So, easy. Anyway. <laughs> let's talk earliest musical influences. And obviously, grunge is going to be in there throughout the years. But I want to know. This is a question I've asked of all my prey. I want to know. What is that first moment you remember going, I want to do that? Oh, okay. I can name that. For me, at can least. Um, tune and wonder. It was when I was about four or five years old. My parents uh, put in a Jimi Hendrix CD. Or was it a tape? I think it was a CD. It was a CD. And the first song that came on was Purple Haze. And I was just loving it. And then I found out he was left-handed. And my parents were telling me about him. And I was like, I want to do that. So that's how I became to, but I didn't start playing till I was 18. So, but that was the first time I knew I just had a love for music. Right on. Do you know what the Latin word for left-handed is? Yeah. <laughs> Left deep blitz. Left no. <laughs> Sinister. Sinister. Sinister? Left-handed? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yes, wow. seriously. Wow. That's what, Trans because left-handed, because you always shook with your right hand. Left hand, you shook with your right hand to show, look, I'm not holding a weapon. Yeah. But if you were sinister, 
Should be left handed. Wow. Yeah. Gotta change the yeah. band name now. Sad story. Sinister. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm left handed. It's funny you say that because the band. Some, even some religious extremists even view people left being left handed as sinister. That's right. I'm well, I live with I out. live with a left handed person. And I'm here to tell you. Wow. Evil. Evil. Anyway, not you though. I'm sure you're fine. <laughs> no, I'm definitely evil. Next. I'm definitely yeah. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, my influences, it's kind of the same as Chris's. Uh, I was itty-bitty little baby. I remember my earliest memory of that, and this was actually a story that my dad told me because it was actually something I didn't remember. I was three years old, and uh, one day I was just in the car in the back seat. My dad's driving. He's going to pick up my mom from work, and all of a sudden, he starts blasting out Van Halen, and the song was hot for teacher, and then... Little did I know, three-year-old me was ban- bouncing in the car seat as soon as the drum started kicking in, and that was where the love of heavy metal and grunge rock, all of that just started coming in, and that's when I said, I want to play an instrument, and then everything else is pretty much history from there. Started nice. playing at eight, it was first guitar. I did that classic thing that a lot of internet news yeah. say, where I went from playing a guitar to going to bass. But for a completely different reason, it wasn't like, oh, I sucked at guitar, and I'm going to do something that would be easier to pick up on. I just want to do something different, and, you know, do a little bit of everything with one instrument. Drive the sound. Pretty nice. much. I like keeping a tight rhythm section, pretty much. He likes it tight. Giggity. Real tight. <laughs> Real tight. <laughs> Giggity, you. Man. Cheers. Stupid <laughs> tight! <laughs> Sorry to the uh, audio person there. Mm. It's tragic. His name, his name is Josh. Look, he's, he's weeping. He made the audio guy cry. Sorry, buddy. Who do you think you are? Yeah. Follow away, boys. Follow away. Ginger I'm ale? <laughs> I don't know if anyone's been looking at me the whole time, but like I've been like really trying to like hone down that moment. And I, I, I'm glad I had some time on that. I'm on the end because I've actually always had an appreciation for music ever since I was about four as, as well. Because I used to go to, from I'm from upstate New York, Rochester, New York, um, and we would drive from Rochester, New York in a car down to Orlando to go to Disney World, and my dad would always play the same uh, audio tape every single time, and it had like Beatles, it had the Kinks, it had like the Cars. Was it, it a cruising classics from Shell Station? No, it was his own mixtape. Mix oh, yeah, his own mixtape. His own mixtape. It had, it had wow. Leonard Skinner. I remember listening to that. I remember listening to like, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Octopus's Garden. Even like songs like yeah. that. Songs I didn't even know were Beatles until late later. But like I have to say, because I was last, I was able to hone it down. I'm pretty sure when I knew that I wanted to be part of music, it was when I listened to like some metal bands in sixth grade. And I want to say it was like Cold Chamber. You guys know Cold Chamber? No. Uh, it rings a bell. They're like they're like a '90s metal band, and they have this great know. song that it opens up on the album with. Um, the artwork is super cool too. This guy is uh, he's this weird, zo- not zombie looking, but he looks dead. He's got this long hair, and he's uh, outside someone's house, and he's in a uh, an ice cream truck. But like, and like, it's kind of psychedelic too. So like, they're all like, these weird colors and stuff. So, like, yeah, so, yeah. Oh my god. So cool chamber. I'd have to say, like, I remember listening to that album, and I was like, wow, this is cool. You know, and then uh, I didn't start playing drums till I was in ninth grade. Um, and I will say, my first instrument was saxophone. And that fucking guy, your instrument teacher, he gave me a red star every single time. He's like, did you practice today, Brandon? No, I didn't practice. You know? And I always look back on that fucking guy. I'm like, yo, you know, you didn't give me any saxophone inspiration. Okay? I blame him. I can be a saxophone player right now. Okay? That was like, that was like fourth grade. You know? <laughs> If you would have just been like, hey, Brandon, I know you're getting these red stars and like bashing you every week, which maybe quit, actually. And, but if he had been like, hey, check out maybe David Bowie, I might have been like, wow, he's a cool saxophone player. But no. But hey, no. saxophone teachers, take notes on this shit. Yeah, for real. Yeah. You know, you inspire your students, okay? Inspire. And it took me like five more years to realize I should be a drummer. That'd be kind of cool. And then here we are. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome yeah, to the club. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good now. Shit, I'm happy I'm You worked with what you got. I mean... Funny story, okay? My brother had a saxophone in the beginning, okay? And I wanted to be like my big brother. And I was like, oh, I should be like him. But he told me in the beginning, Brandon, do drums. Here you are. And here, yeah, see, it all came fucking full circle. Yes, and that's, that's where it is. End of story. Got a lot of stories, Josh. Don't get me going. Huh? What? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're back. No, just kidding. Wait, are you okay in there? <laughs> Hello? No, man. No, Yahoo! not even close. No, okay. Moving on. Good. Seriously, that was good. Not you. I enjoy rabbit holes. 
within reason. Mm. Um, <laughs> you're you have uh, you have some shows booked in June, right? Yeah, this may be out by then, uh, but you have like I think uh, almost every weekend in June. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have every weekend in June. Right on. Um, but cool. Either here or California. If you want to know where they're playing, and you know. Just follow them on social media, basically. Uh, check the description. I'll have uh, the social media links down there as well. So, uh, I was wondering. What is... What is one thing you wish that you had done when you started doing music? I'm changing it up. Any, anybody, any OG Room Sixers know that this is usually like my last question. I'm flipping the script. So... Alright. Yeah. I normally ask, say this for last. I don't know what it is about tonight. Maybe it's you. But, like uh, it. <laughs> yeah, I'm all about it. It's the Damn potato it. water. <laughs> potato water. Mm. But uh, yummy, yummy. I normally say this for last. <clears throat> what is one thing you wish someone had told you before you started down the road that is making music? And don't say change your strings. Mm. Yeah, no. See, that's something you have to figure out on yourself. Right. But let's pretend we're talking a little you. You get a chance to go talk to yourself at that moment. We're, we're going back to the uh, earliest musical influence, yeah. which I realized was just the last question. Mm. But uh, you get the chance to say, "Hey, buddy, you need to know this." Pretend you're talking to a new musician. Smash a guitar. It's fun. <laughs> Smash the shit out of that guitar, and uh, don't be afraid to go all out. You know. Sing like me. I sing my heart out every show, and play like it's your last show every time. Okay, didn't see that coming. <laughs> Next, and simple songs. Ba bubble bass. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going. Keep it consistent. Yeah, uh, I get. I guess if I were to say something to little that? me. Anyway, what? If I were to say something to little me, I would have said something like, I don't know, show the ladies what the fingers can do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> when you're young, the girls would be like, yeah, what? Really? What? Yeah. <laughs> Oh All right. <laughs> Fuck. You know what? Get your heads out of the gutter, motherfucker. Oh, man. And he's not drinking alcohol. Yeah, this, um, is, the, drink this, that. this is the energy Jesus Christ. of our bass player. Man, bass. what can I tell myself? God damn, I can tell Follow myself that. so much. Follow <laughs> <laughs> um, that. Don't I, give I, up I, on saxophone. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Listen don't to David Bowie. Don't let the, let the teacher get in your head. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Be the world's first oh. saxophone playing drummer. Yeah, oh at the same so time. Cool. <laughs> Man, oh, there it is. Just have fun. Just have fun. If you are like, because I remember so many times when I was practicing drums, I'd get fucking pissed off because I can't get the whatever rudiment I'm trying, I'm doing. To, like, if you could just chill yourself out, make it through that space of where like you feel like you're trying to develop as a musician, you yeah. know, like just have fun and just keep pushing, and you'll get to where you want to be for sure. Yeah. Yep. You don't have to be that technical. You, you know, know who always inspired me? I, I'm. I'm trying to learn how to do, do drums in all the, the spare time I have when I'm not editing videos. But um, that's why I have an electronic drum set. But who always inspired me to, to for, like, just have fun? It's Taylor Hawkins. Mm. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. was, he, was he ever not smiling? Yeah. No, he was for always. Yeah. Yeah, he was. And he smiled with his whole face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah. R.I.P. Taylor Hawkins yeah. in the comments, guys. Mm. Salute. So, yes. Yeah. All right, moving on. Now, you three haven't been the Crimsons for very long. You said this is your first band? Yeah, it is. Wow. Yeah, he's killing it. <laughs> right but you have done some shows together as, a, as these three, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we've uh, since uh, January. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah it was about, it was like, I think it was like the third week of January because there was that one house gig that we don't talk about. Yeah. Because it was a complete shit show. Really? You don't say. Because my next question was going to be, what is your favorite show m moment, show memory and it could be when things went off the rails, or it could be somebody got arrested, or somebody you, you checked off some rock star list moments, you know? What is your favorite show memory performing music? And for you, it's going to be a short list. <laughs> yes. but, short list. To go through. But, short list. but yeah, wow. okay, go short. for it. I'd say you start with you. Yeah. Damn, my favorite memory, it was actually this past weekend at the Whiskey A Go Go, the world famous Whiskey A Go. We I was gonna I was gonna say, I was gonna ask about that. It was it was amazing. Um I feel like it was one of the times when I was actually most comfortable. And I was able to let loose a little bit. You know, yeah. I was able to not just like focus on what I'm playing. I was able just to get music. play and have fun at the same time. That was my best memory. And we were all we were all clicking at the same time. Yeah. Was, we were just having a yeah. blast. Yeah, it was great. It was great. And there's a crowd too. Yeah, it was beautiful. I mean, oh, and, man, you, and you could put that on your resume. Play the whiskey though. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. Some, yeah. that's something I never got the chance to do. Yeah. 
Yep, yeah, that's definitely ten out of ten recommend. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's definitely my favorite memory too. That past weekend, and there's another one, and that was actually we were at the Oil Casino, and uh, I did anesthesia pulling teeth. Actually, me and this guy right here, who was super tight with it, badass pulling teeth. I literally pulled the teeth out of every single motherfucker in that casino, and it was the best night of my life. The whiskey, of course, was awesome. Got a pick going twice, which is something I was wanting to check off at my bucket list. It was either getting in a mosh pit or starting a pit on stage, and I managed to do both. So that's definitely a top. You got a mosh pit at the whiskey? Oh, yeah, yeah. we got a small one right there. That's great. No, that's respect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Uh, Senor. Wow. uh, This is a hard one for me. I've been playing a while. So I would say the whiskey last week was my one of my favorite just overall performance and just it's the best the crimsons have ever sounded it's the best they've sounded um another favorite memory is um is when i played this house shows the um one of the second or third <laughs> good push one of the second or third house shows that we uh were playing and i decided to smash a guitar we went on third and um I actually had two fill-ins at that point for that show, which was crazy. I had a fill-in drummer and a fill-in bass player, but yeah, I still we, kept we it We weren't alive. even in this They weren't even alive. Happened. Yeah. And then yeah. you smashed a the guitar. And I smashed a the guitar. There was like 150, 200 people in this backyard. We went on third, and I just, we ended with School by Nirvana, and I smashed the guitar, and it was just, the pit went wild. Like, everyone was moshing. I have videos of Was it. that the video where you have, like, the short hair? Yeah, I had short hair, hair yeah. and I jump off stage. First Friday? Was it first Friday? No, no, no. no. It was, the, it was uh, couple of days after that. Okay. Trigger warning, if you ever watch that video, you might throw up in your mouth seeing how short his hair was. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I have seen some stuff where you, where you had, I thought it was just really slicked back or something. Oh, it was. No, yeah, I used to gel it up way, like, okay. a lot, and I used to just slick it back, and now I'm letting it grow out again. I used to have it, I used to have it down to here when I was really into, like, 60s and 70s music. Right. And now I'm just like, ah, you know, let's go in the middle, so I'm going to let it grow out again. As someone who also has a high forehead... Yeah, suggest maybe not slick it back so it makes it even worse. <laughs> All right. Cue the mouth throw up. <sighs> but just so every for those of you who think I'm bald or something, no, no, it, it's there. I'm just lazy. <laughs> and how merch, baby. Yeah, yeah, merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get merch. The merch. So, the merch. Speaking of merch, uh, we're going to take a quick moment here because uh, I'm getting empty. We need a booze break. But also, yeah. we're going to hear a quick message from future Josh. So stick around. Booze break. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Past Josh. Mmm, I love cupcakes. It's a cake you can hold in your hand. Plus, you can fill them with virtually anything. And the toppings can be whatever you like. You know who makes really good cupcakes? Wicked good cupcakes, that's who. What started as a way for a mom and daughter to spend time together quickly became a nationwide phenomenon. Their innovative cupcake-in-a-jar idea first pitched on the TV show Shark Tank for shipping delicious homemade cupcakes nationwide has made Wicked Good Cupcakes a household name. With decadent flavors and enticing, unique presentation, Wicked Good Cupcakes delicious, sweet, and fun cupcake jars are a great way to add delight to any occasion. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6 for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get free ground shipping on custom six packs. Delivering to me here in Nevada, that's a savings of almost 20 bucks. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Wicked Good Cupcakes for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. We're back! Now then, gentlemen, and Brandon. (laughs) Oh, hi! Oh, hi! It's actually Brandon Beats. Brandon Beats, I changed it during the break. Sorry. It's official now. It's BB and BB. C. And CS. That's right. KS. Christ- oh, Kate, right. K- Christer. Yeah. Christer. Yeah. Christer. Yeah. Never so, heard of Christer before. Sorry. Yeah. So, that's a, that's a Canadian throwback. There. It's all good. We all watch South Park here. We know plenty about Can- Canada. You know. I'm not your buddy guy. <laughs> <laughs> not Anywho. Um, definitely follow them uh, by using their links down in the description, because they will be playing in June uh, many places uh, around town. Are you... Uh, any other... Going out of town stuff coming up? We got a Well, June, we're playing in California. I think I booked Arizona. We're playing here a couple shows. And then July, we're also going back to the Whiskey. Okay. And then uh, 
Yeah, I'll get some work on right now. Oh, I forgot. Stick around because we're going to be seeing them perform live up in room six. Get some grunge up in this. Uh, I think you're my first grunge act, actually, to, to play up there. So that'll be nice. Oh. Hot well, damn. It's going to be interesting. But um, also, if you want to support the channel and that sponsor spot or something you're interested in, please use the link down in the description. That's the best way to help me and help the channel. Um, thanks. There's my, there's my spiel. Now then, it's a good spiel. Any plans to add a fourth? We had a fourth. You fucking failed us. All right, so yeah, yeah let me explain the story. All right, spill the tea. All right, so I have always I had so when I first started the Crimson's, I had a fourth, but he just could not keep timing, and he just he just could not keep timing. A guitarist, guitarist. He was a guitarist. We had a we had a fourth man as a guitarist. Um, I originally didn't want to sing, and I originally just wanted to play guitar, and so. We actually were a four piece for the first year um, in 2019 and a little bit of 2020 and then a little bit of 2021. I had a singer. I actually had a singer. And then singer moved. I, they didn't get along. The singer and the rhythm guitars didn't get along. I said no. And then um, I just decided to start back up with three piece. That was where I met Anthony and Carlos. Um, those guys were good. We had Todd for that group and he was going to be our rhythm guitarist. He played one show with us. Couldn't keep up with the how many times we're practicing and what I need from him. So he just kind of took a break. And then um, last year, that band, we kind of took a break for six months and um, I had to focus on my daughter. And um, then I got these guys and uh, we had Todd, actually, I let him retry out. I let him retry out for uh, the Crimson's and uh, he played, no, he didn't even play one show. Um, he just couldn't keep up with the practice. He was never on time. And, uh, I just said, fuck it, we're going to keep it to three people. I've all, I've been having it as three, so I might as well keep it as three. I don't mind playing guitar and singing, but we may be testing out a keyboard player for some other stuff, so stay tuned for that. I mean, keys can fit with grunge, for sure. Oh, no, yeah, we're, we're, yeah we can fit yeah. with grunge, but we're trying to... That actually leads me to my next question, and uh, I totally feel all that because I uh, I, I was frontman for uh, The Suspense, right, Mandy Rock Band, and there was like five and a half iterations of that thing over the years. Yeah. You know, it's for one reason or another, someone leaves, someone quits. Yeah. But it was funny how it was always like, everybody quits at the same time. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. It, it was never no, like, yeah. oh, now we need a bass player. It was, well, no. now I need another band. Rain Great. Support. It was like, so, oh, got to get new members. Yeah. So. How it goes. Enjoying? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking cool. of, yeah, you know, focus on him, man. Killer Clowns. Yo, anybody ever seen Killer Clowns? Well, apparently, uh, we've got a 70s and 80s. Oh, kill, I man, could say this is 90s. Kill, he's 90s. He's 90s. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so he's 90s. Yeah. Or you're a beatnik from, oh, well, no, you don't have to Pretty much, pretty much. I mean, yeah. He's 60s, but. Oh, yeah, I usually yeah, dress yeah. 90s, but I'm like. <laughs> you know what you need is some of those, uh, you need some, uh, some Matrix, those neat oh, glasses. Dude. Well, you think I look like uh, <laughs> Keanu? You think I look like that? That's Everybody true. told me that when I was a kid, you know. Now it's now it's all uh, maroon five. And I'm like, I'm not fucking <laughs> Adam Levine. Okay? Oh Adam Levine. God. I'm I'm way no, more way more that. hardcore than that. <laughs> way more hardcore. See those tats? No, nah, right, so nah. Adam Levine now. All right, guys. Adam Levine's our drummer. All right, all right. Sounds good. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> How weird would that be to be like? Is that is he fucking Adam Levine <laughs> on the drums? <laughs> oh man. Man, Adam Levine hit it down low right there. <laughs> wow. He wanted to start. Dang, to start Colin so. <laughs> So, uh, but you mentioning the keyboards actually brings up a, a question I had, which was, are you are you sticking with the grunge thing, or are there any plans to explore? Because grunge, at its heart, it's just it's alternative music, yeah. and they they were kind of like they I, I I don't remember the grunge scene ever being like, let's get a little trippy, let's get a little experimental oh, with yeah. this and that. It was more of. Um, the, the the lyrics really is where yeah. they, they got their their um, twists and turns in. So yeah. I was wondering, any plans for the Crimson's to go a little bit more content in them? So we uh, we actually as Crimson's have my last bandmates. We released an acoustic EP. So I actually I can write all sorts of genres. Mm -hmm. I I don't mind what we do, but I wanted to be known as the grunge band here because there's not a lot that are like the Three power chord grunge band. Right. The original grunge band. Because, of course, there's grunge cover acts there's, here. Yeah. There's uh, so, Flannel Nation and uh, yeah. some other stuff. So we wanted to be all original, so I started writing a lot of grunge, you know, a lot of heavier stuff, and um, a lot of the riffs that come up were just... I wanted to go for catchy and heavy or catchy and melodic, so 90s alternative or 90s grunge. Right. And uh, our plan is to kind of stick with that for now, um, but 
I want to start expanding too. I have so many other songs and so many other stuff that we can do, and I kind of want to be. I want to be known as Grunge Band first, <clears throat> and we can be doing that for a while. But I also want to be like, hey, we have this to offer. This is a little side stuff that we have. So, right um, yeah. So I'm open to many genres, but grunge is where I sit at heart. He loves it, and he loves it. Um, I think that's about it, actually. So stick around because we're going to see the Crimson's upstairs in room six. Um, please consider, you know, if you want to click the link down in the description for the sponsor spot, or just click the room six social media link and uh, you know support the channel in some way. It, I'd appreciate it. But in the meantime, we're going to temporarily say goodbye, and we'll see you upstairs in room six. Temporarily say goodbye. Cheers. Cheers. This song is called Mistreated. song is called Mr. Moonlight.
coming on the show. It was a great interview and a great performance. If you want to know more about them, like I said in the interview, click down in the description to get, uh, you know, find out where, what they're doing and where they are and uh, follow along. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, it really does make a difference. Click up there and don't forget to ring the bell. And if you'd like to hear my own music, which is definitely not grunge, click over there. Over there. <laughs> Remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say goodbye guys. Bye! Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. There's always one. <laughs>